Today we got a story time from a subscriber about a babysitter that did something not okay at all, bro. You already know how it is. Leave a like in the video to claim your free nothing, and let's just jump right into it. So we're gonna call the subscriber Timmy. I got that from the comment sections. Anyways, one day, right, you know, Timmy was about 11, about 12, whatever. His parents were going out, they needed a babysitter, so sure enough, they called up a babysitter, and this was a new one, not one that they normally had, right? So uh, it was kind of a, a bit of a gamble, but they found her on Facebook, and it was like a mom who lived in the neighborhood, so everyone was like, all right, yeah, no, she sounds fine. And he was right, she gets there, says goodbye to the parents, mom gives, you know, the number to, you know, the babysitter, just in case anything happens, standard deal as always. Anyways, right, the night seems pretty chill. I mean, you know, Timmy says that the babysitter was like, uh, I mean, they were vibing, they are having a pretty good time, like, she came over, she cooked a decent enough meal, like, she isn't out there cooking up some, like, cardboard and eggs or anything like that, like, it's fine, it's fine, we're looking good. Anyways, right, you know, the night was seeming pretty normal, pretty chill. They were, like, watching TV for a little bit. But sure enough, it was, like, 9.30, and that's when the subscriber had to go to bed back in the day. So the babysitter said, hey, it's 9.30, like, you know, you should probably go brush your teeth and go to bed. And the subscriber did. And honestly, like, most nights, if this was just some normal day, the story would have ended here. But you already saw the title. This is not a normal day. This is not a normal story. And sure enough, right, as soon as the subscriber goes to bed... Things start to go downhill, that's all I'm gonna say. Anyways, right, so the subscriber, he goes to bed, and he crawls into bed, but he, he just can't fall asleep, man. I mean, I know I've definitely had those nights. You go to bed, and, like, you've been probably tired the whole day or whatever, and you can't wait to go to bed, but the second you go to bed, bro, it's like, it's like your mind just can't turn off. Thoughts are just rot like, thoughts are just rattling off, and, like, you're basically playing out a whole conversation with, like, everyone you've ever met ever as soon as you go into bed, and it's quite annoying. And this was happening to the subscriber on this night, so he was kind of just sitting in bed. He just couldn't fall asleep, right? And that's when he heard a car door slam outside. And he was kind of just like, oh, dang, like, all right, like, that's a little weird. Maybe my parents are home early. So he's kind of just sitting in bed at this point. He's just kind of, like, listening in to hear, like, oh, you know, who is it outside? Who Like, who's at, who's at my house, right? Is it my parents? Because he kind of thinks it's his parents is back home from whatever they're going to earlier than expected. But, you know, he was listening, and he heard the babysitter say, hey, and then he heard some, like, guy say, hey, how's it going, right, in this kind of voice, and he's kind of just thinking to himself, no, that's definitely not my dad's voice, and also my mom would have, my mom's, like, the talkative one, too. I mean, in, in his mind, it would have been his mom being like, oh, hi, how's it, you know how, like, moms will, like, really play it up when they see someone, they're like, oh, my God, oh, my God, and it's just, like, Stacy, the person they met once at a bar, and it's like, bro, you're not actually that excited, but anyways, right, he's like, yeah, this is definitely not my parents. This is definitely some random guy in the babysitter. So the subscriber, right, he's not, you know, he's not gonna get out of bed. He's just gonna stay there, but he's also, like, a little just like, all right, what's happening here? So anyways, right, the subscriber, he's staying in bed, and he's kind of just listening, waiting to hear what's happening, because, I don't know, he just he just doesn't want, want to make a deal out of it. Like, I'm sure the babysitter would be like, oh my god, don't tell your mom, whatever. Like, and the thing is, bro... The subscriber doesn't care, like, she was cool with him. She made him some good food, she let him kind of watch whatever, like, they were just watching whatever he wanted, and, yeah, I mean, whatever, like, she has some guy over. Yeah, maybe that's not exactly what his parents wanted her to do, but, like, whatever. She was a good babysitter, he's not trying to experiment with others and get, like, wacky ones or anything. So he thinks he's kind of just chilling, and he honestly tries to go to bed, which yeah, he fails to do, right? Because uh, we wouldn't know the rest of the story, which just gets crazier after this point if he went to bed. So uh, it's kind of a good deal for me and you, I guess. But anyways, right, he's sitting in bed, and the, the thing is, right, his bedroom is right next to kind of the TV living room type area. And, you know, the babysitter is eventually she walks up the stairs with her, most likely her boyfriend, right? Maybe it's just some guy. Maybe it's a friends with uh, benefits. Maybe it's her husband of 10 years. Hey, man, I don't really know the situation. But at the end of the day, right, let's just say boyfriend. So her and her boyfriend walk up and they eventually walk up to the TV room. And the TV room is right next to the subscriber's bedroom. And the walls are very thin. <laughs> you already know what I mean. Yeah, but anyways, at first, he starts hearing them talk, and even though this guy is, like, 12 at the time, this happened, like, I don't know, two years ago or something, he was even getting annoyed with them. Like, they were kind of, oh, man, like, look, if you, you're in a relationship, bro, please, please don't do this. I mean, you can do, do whatever you want in private, but they were, like, hell, they were doing, like, that, like, 
dumb, annoying, like, babe, don't do baby talk, bro. Stop. Stop it. Get some help immediately. I, I was going to imitate it, but I'm really not trying to have any of that nonsense on my channel. So just imagine, like, kind of, like, cringe baby talk. And they were doing that for, like, five minutes or something. So the subscriber is just sitting in his bed, like, can they shut up, bro? Like... You're lucky I'm not going out there and exposing you, right? You're lucky I'm not going out there and calling my mom, like, to have her come back and get you for having someone over that you're not supposed to have over. Can you at least let me sleep in peace? However, right, uh, the peace was about to be disturbed. Real quick, comment babysitter down below if you made it this far into the video. I'll try and hard a bunch of comments that say that. I can't promise I'll get to them all, but I will do my best. Anyways, right, so the subscriber is sitting there and he's like, bro, can these two shut up? And eventually, right, they do shut up. Um, but that's actually worse. It got worse. Like, as soon as they, like, the subscriber realized what was going on after they stopped talking, I mean, let me just say that the subscriber was like, please go back to baby talk, man. Please, like, I'm not trying to listen to this, bro. Please go back to baby talk, bro. Yeah, like, at this point, right, the subscriber was like, oh my god, no way. So they're just, like, sitting on the couch, like, making out. Let me just say, like, the thing is, Sure, whatever. You can go make out with someone. But that's so... The noise is so gross. Like, I'm... I look, I'm, someone has to say it. Somebody has to say it. The noise? When you're just like... Maybe when you kiss someone quickly, whatever. But if you're just like making out with them, I, I, I'm just like, no, I'm not trying to listen to that. I'm just not trying to listen to that. Whenever I see that stuff come up in movies, I don't know. I felt weird for it, bro. But I'm like, yeah, this is kind of gross to look at, dude. I'm not, I'm not trying to look at this. I'm definitely not trying to listen to this. So the subscribers is kind of sitting there like, oh my God, bro. Like, I'm not, I'm not trying to hear this. Like, go back to your baby talk, dude. Like, I'm not trying to hear this. But then the next sound he heard was like euphoric. It was like a blessing from God. He heard another car pull up and he knew exactly who it was. He knew it was his parents because he looked at the clock and it was around the time that his parents said he was coming back. And he was just like, let's go. Like, they're getting screwed. Like, I'm not going to listen to any of this nonsense anymore. This is a humongous win for the boys and the boys meaning me, the subscriber. So anyways, right, the subscriber's in bed and he's just kind of waiting there. And he hears like, here's the door open up. And, you know, he hears his mom say, hey, like, we're back. And he can hear, because remember, he's right next to the babysitter and her boyfriend or whatever, right, in the next room. And he hears them go, oh, shoot. Like, and, you know, the babysitter turns to the boyfriend. I, I'm, I'm assuming he wasn't there, but, like, he's assuming, right, the babysitter turned to the boyfriend. And babysitter said, oh, my God, she said she'd be back in an hour, which uh, the subscriber knew was Cap because, like, he remembered that it, this was the time that she said she'd be back. So the babysitter just forgot. And, like, the subscriber knew that they were just completely screwed because, like, the guy, there wasn't a lot of exits out of the house. There was only really one way up or down, like, only one stairway up or down. And no shot the boyfriend got out of there without getting caught. So the subscriber is just waiting in his bed, and he hears his parents walk up the stairs, right? Now, let's take a quick break to talk about BitTensor Tau. Tau can be staked in two main places, either to the root network or directly to a specific subnet. The root is more stable. While subnets allow you to support specific functions or services in the BitTensor ecosystem. When you stake, you choose a validator to delegate your tau to. This means you're not running a validator yourself, you're backing someone else to act on your behalf. Your delegation gives power to the validator by increasing their influence and stake weight in the network. The more stake a validator has, the more likely they are to get rewarded, and that benefits you too. As a staker, you earn rewards based on how well your chosen validator performs. These rewards are paid out automatically and continuously. There's no lockup period, your tau can be unstaked at any time without penalty. But be cautious, staking to a subnet involves more risk than staking to the root, because subnet performance can vary a lot. Learn, learn more at learnbittensor.org slash concepts slash tokenomics slash staking dash and dash delegation. And like the boyfriend is like 
and you know, he can hear him like talking to the girlfriend, like, or the babysitter, like, what do I do? What do I do? Like, what do I do? What do I do here? Like, I don't know what I'm doing. The babysitter's like, I don't know. I don't know. Maybe you should hide. And it's in the middle of saying, maybe you should hide. The, you know, the subscriber hears his parents walk by his room and open the, like the TV room door. And he just hears his dad go, what the, and then some words I can't say on the channel. Cause I'm trying to stay family friendly, PG clean. Give me those ads, baby. Let's go. No, but he's like, what? Like, what is it? Who is this guy? What is he doing in my house? Why did you think you had permission to bring someone over and not tell us? Like, and then he like, the dad is starting to put pieces together and the dad's like, what were you two doing in this room? You know, my son is sleeping on the other side and these walls are paper thin. Trust me, I would know. And the subscriber's like, trust me, I would know. What are you talking about? But he's like, hey, yo. <laughs> but anyways, right, the dad's like, get out of my house. And like the mom was like just being silent. Like she wasn't stepping up for the babysitter because the mom was mad too, but the mom was not the one to like chew someone out like the dad is. So anyways, right, the babysitter and her boyfriend quickly left the house. And let me just say that, you know, that babysitter was not asked to babysit again. Not, no, no way, bro. She was gone, gone for good, which the subscriber was like, that's kind of tough because she wasn't that bad, dude. Anyway, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already done so. Drop a like in the video. Then click on one of the four videos on screen right now or just watch another video to help support the channel. Thank you. Bye.